Hi everyone. So I am here to talk about MAC finally, finally having a very pale shade in the Studio Fix Fluid line. Um, they redid the color line. I don't know if they redid the formula, but they definitely did the colors differently because this is NC5 and it's actually pale. Hooray! So um, MAC released NC5 in the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation line. Um, quite a while ago now. To me, it feels like a couple years ago, but I think it was like, I don't know, five plus years ago. And it was actually darker than NC10. It was extremely disappointing. It had like stronger golden undertones. Very strange. I don't know what they were thinking when they did that, but for all of us that were hoping for a paler shade in Studio Fix Fluid, were, our hopes were dashed. <laughs> It was really strange. Anyway, before I get talking too much into this, let's just take a look at the swatches, see how it compares to the old, old formula and some other stuff in my collection. All right, swatches. So I wanted to cover a lot of bases here. The first thing, because uh, a lot of people on my channel are interested in how things compare to NARS Siberia, because it's kind of the gold standard for pale, but still fairly strong yellow undertones, cool yellow undertones. So this is the NARS Soft Matte in Siberia. This is a very old sample of MAC um, Studio Fix Fluid in NC10. My main issue with this is it continues to get darker throughout the day. Uh, this is the new Studio Fix Fluid in NC5, and this is the Studio Radiance in NC5 as well. I feel like they are quite similar. Next to that, I have the Estee Lauder Double Wear in 0N1 Alabaster. That's kind of a fairly pale, option that's also a similar formula um sometimes on this uh this one on me looks a little pink sometimes it's fine it is a little bit brighter i think um and it's more of a peach versus like cool yellow undertone next to that i have the clinique um beyond perfecting and cn 0.5 this is a better undertone match for me if i'm looking for something that is a little bit more coverage and still quite pale with the yellowish undertone that's a good one for me i wanted to have some drugstore options this one is the what is this the essence keep me covered and this is in 10 pale it is an option that is quite yellow and quite bright um, and next to that is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop in Pale as well, also very light. That formula is awesome, but it is a little bit challenging to work with, in, on my face at least. You gotta, you gotta move fast, but once it sets down, like, it is really sweatproof. And last one, if you are one of those ultra pale people, I just figured I'd throw this on here for comparison. This is, I know, not available in a lot of places, but maybe just the US. Um, it's the JCAT Skin Insurance, and the shade is porcelain. That stuff is like a solid shade, lighter than all of these quite pale options. So, there we go. So you can see it's a good solid like shade lighter than NC10 in the old. I mean, that sample is so old, I gotta tell you. Um, it's, it's as old as that video that I will link <laughs> where I was doing the NC5 when it came out and was like so crushed. Um, so it is old. My issue with Studio, Studio Fix Fluid, I think I mentioned this in the swatches, is that um, in the old formula, it would look okay when I put it on, but it just got darker and darker throughout the day. It was really a formula that on me, it would f truly oxidize throughout the day. I just don't encounter that very much in foundation. And so it was always just so peculiar. And, you know, Mac's whole shtick was that they covered everybody, you know, they had a formula for every skin tone and they were definitely kind of at the forefront when it came to having a wider range of deeper tones and covering more people that way. And it was just so funny that they didn't go paler and all these other companies were. Like everybody else was kind of catching up to the fact that there were people, um, you know, p pasty white people that weren't, didn't have an option out there. And so um, now like a good 10 years later, <laughs> I would say five to 10 years later, after um, other companies started releasing really pale shades, Mac has finally joined the party with the Studio Radiance and Studio Fix Fluid. 
They also had that weird outlier of the um, Nourishing Waterproof in NW13. I have swatches of, of it in the review video I did for Studio Re Radiance if you want to see that. I just wanted to provide some different swatches this time around. So this one is definitely on the pale end of the spectrum. I'm 44 years old. I have, you know, some visible pores, some lines that things can settle into. Um, I have dry patches. The issues I have with foundation generally are catching on dry patches, getting patchy on my chin and like separating and looking all not good um and i don't like when things slide around um or you know change color whatever i am expecting when i put a foundation on i want it to last all day so formula wise i think it's a good like matte ish foundation formula it's not like that super super dry powdery matte um, it seems similar to me from what I remember of the old uh, Studio Fix Fluid, which was also just kind of like a standard matte long wearing foundation that wasn't ultra matte. It was pretty easy to work with. You know, think about like real old like st standbys in that type, like Revlon Colorstay, that kind of formula. And this seems to be the same kind of thing. Um, it wears okay on me. I think that um, like some formulas work better over certain like skincare, obviously. Some formulas are, you know, it doesn't matter as much. This one does feel like something that I do have to be you know, moderately careful about my skin prep just to make sure I don't have any flakes, that I don't have too, like, dewy of a uh, finish underneath. Um, when I wore it yesterday, I had the this, which, you know, the, the weather is changing, so my skin may be producing a little bit more oil now. I used the Sun Touchable Woe Glow from e.l.f. SPF 30. 30? Yes. I like this a lot and this wears really nicely um, underneath other foundations I have. It, on me yesterday, the Studio Fix kind of got a little oilier than I wanted like on my chin and again that could just be a weather thing. So today I went with just like a light moisturizer and then I put on kind of my um, old standby also really awesome SPF for long wearing foundations and that's the Paula's Choice um, oh god, it's been so long since I even talked about it. I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a matte sunscreen. It does have a little bit of a tint to it, and I do think that it kind of changes my skin tone just a smidge and adds a little color to it. It is awesome, and I always have that one in my description box just mentioned because it is like such a good, if your skin isn't too dry, it is an awesome SPF for like priming for foundation. Really good. Um, so the wear on it was fine. I think that definitely I will continue to try different things. The color, I'm a little like, you know, I could use a little bit more yellow. I could just add, you know, wear a powder, a bronzer, whatever, to try to warm up my skin a little bit. I tend to just wear blush. And so today all I have on is blush. So I just have that on my cheeks. And I take whatever's left over, put it on my nose, on my... Uh, what is this forehead <laughs> and around my chin and that might add just like a hint of extra color to those places um I do l prefer light to medium coverage I don't want to cover up my freckles um and this the way I applied it um I think it delivered that kind of level of coverage that I usually wear and I like it um but yeah, the color for me personally, I would like something just like a hair more yellow. Um, like some of those things that you saw in the swatches have just have a little bit more like yellow to them. And that just works better with my redness because when I have something that's just a tiny bit too light, sometimes it can look a little pink. Under all of the bright lights too, it is gonna kind of accentuate that kind of white look sometimes. And so sometimes it does look a little bit brighter under these lights, like my face is a little bit washed out. But I do feel like my neck looks like it's got that kind of sickly yellow <laughs> look to it just because my fa face is a little bit pale. So um, not, you know, 100% shade match for me, but um, 
I'm so glad that they did come out with this shade finally because get with the program. This one did not change color on me throughout the day when I was wearing it yesterday. It definitely like, you know, oils broke through and everything. Um, but it was, it didn't look different. So I'm glad about that because that's definitely a problem I had with the old color NC10 whether or not it's a different formula. I don't know. Now I'm just repeating myself. I don't really have much to say. <laughs> Let me know if you've tried this one, if you plan on trying it, um, and what your thoughts are, what you think of the color, etc. Um, I did say I was going to do this Maybelline um, foundation next, but I was just too excited for the Studio Fix <laughs> Fluid. And then somebody left a comment asking for a review. So I'm like, I got to bump this up in the priority. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video today. Hope you're having a good one and I will see you soon.